while they're uh, doing the traffic before the B file, I'll just uh, talk it up a bit. Uh, when you have a doctor that you can uh, easily relate to or relate with, or a doctor who uh, goes uh, goes the distance or goes, you know, I don't want to say the extra mile, but a doctor who does what he can to meet you <clears throat> at your level, you know, or to, you know, make you feel comfortable too. Traits of a great doctor, aside from, you know, knowing what the hell they're doing and talking about and, you know, all that good stuff, but uh, I guess you can wrap that up with a uh, wrap that into uh, bedside manner and this guy's got it you know he's you know get you in get you out and when he has the time to he'll he'll chat you know, full of full of knowledge and you know, no question is stupid he you ask him something he thinks and he tries to give you the absolute best answer that he can at that time and for what you know, for the time that he's given. Uh, Dr. Tatarian Jefferson Neurological Science or whatever they book. You know, if you need a specialist, if you need a neurologist, uh, adults, uh, go find this man. He's leading studies in cervical dystonia. Uh, and other neurological uh, movement disorders. So, look them up, all my Philly and Jersey friends. And as I said, I, I mentioned my doctor's name, and my mom goes, No, no way. What's his first name? I said, Gabriel. Gabriel, she goes, His father delivered you. Check that shit out. Small world! So, I am now leaving my neurologist appointment. My neurologist is this shit, man. And now we play the, I know I park here, but where the hell is my truck man? So, I'm gonna walk this way. I'm pretty sure it's over this way. And I will keep hitting the lock button. Hoping to hear my alarm go off, which I will hear, but it seems to work when I'm about three feet away from it anyway. I think I'm going the wrong direction as it is. I know I probably don't need to five. There's a left, but uh, I'm on six. Who gives, man? Alright, go this way. I've been here so many fucking times. What the hell is wrong with me, man? But, yep. Yeah. He's a good doctor. As a matter of fact, this doctor, this doctor, his father, delivered me. It was pretty neat. Well, kismet. <laughs> Things coming, coming around. So weird. When stuff happens like that. Oops. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to another episode. <laughs> another filler of a day in my life. Now watching these videos, you'd think I'd live in this doggone truck. And well, for about 300 miles a week, I do. This day in my life, at this very moment, hey, how come there's a funeral home right next door to the damn dentist? Yeah, dentist. That guy, that's kind of like, you know, messed up, don't you think? It should be the other dog all the way around. I think in 1,000 feet, turn left onto Browning the Road. Other side of the funeral home. I know I'm not making any sense.
sense. Um, yeah, so I'm leaving the dentist's office. Just had my root canal finished. C can you tell I was at the dentist? Uh, I guess apparently I was biting the hell out of my lip. <laughs> uh, hello. I love when the wind blows and their skirt goes up. Uh, yeah. Uh, they had to load me up with so much painkiller. <laughs> um, but it's all non-narcotic now. I mean, we're just fine, you know, do what you do. Turn left onto Browning Road. Yeah. What's messed up is it's people that abused it and who are blaming the doctors and stuff for giving it to them. He gave it to me, I got hooked. I'm like, no, you took it. So, and those of you who know me, especially when it comes to pain relief, um, let's go. Green light. Doesn't get much greener than that. Uh, when it comes to pain relief, pain management, for me, uh, if it's not our In a quarter mile, turn right to stay on Browning Road. Um, even to take the edge off, all right? Now, I only had one thing in my life that ever took the pain away, and that was when I had kidney stones, and they gave me an IV of... Delauded But I had an IV and they pumped Delauded in there and like Woo! Gone. Delauded and morphine. Um, and a fentanyl patch. I mean, it's basically morphine anyway. Um, <clears throat> so. Take the next right to stay on Browning Road, then turn right onto River Road. Had flat out asked, you know, if he wasn't going to write a script for. Um, a narcotic pain reliever. He's, you know, he's saying what the uh, ADA has been, uh, American Dental Association has been. Turn right onto River Road. Finding now and suggesting to people is to alternate uh, every three hours high dose Tylenol, high dose Motrin. Now I've got 800 milligram uh, ibuprofen, 800 milligram Motrin, which was. The Army's answer to everything. And, and the, Continue for three miles. I can alternate off and on throughout the day, you know, every three hours. Or it's not going to do a damn thing. And I worked all week with, uh, well, Tuesday through Friday. With that freaking scroll, <laughs> scroll, skull crushing pain in the side of my face. Ah. Uh, so I'm gonna do it some more. But, the dentist did give me, uh, give me some preps, some respect. Um, I'm probably drooling. He said, uh, you know, I really admire your, uh, your, uh, your courage to come in here uh, knowing that there's a great chance that you're going to feel some pain, <laughs> some, uh, but you're here anyhow. You, you, you came last week, you got it started, and you came back this week to get it finished. Um, you know, that's that's crazy. He says, I don't know if I would have been able to do it. Oh, shit. That was not a pothole. That was a pot crater. Uh, he says, if the shoes were on the other feet, you know, if I was in your position... I don't think I'd, I'd, I'd be in here doing it. It's not like, well, you're a dentist, so you're smarter than uh, a guy who goes, wow, huge snowstorm, everything's closed except for the bar and the tattoo parlor where they do piercing as well. Well, what better time than now to get my tongue pierced? So I got my tongue pierced. And that motherfucker wreaked havoc in my mouth for about 14 years, I guess, cracking teeth. And, and that one was just the worst. Because they wanted to do the root canal on it a year ago, and I'm like, nah. You know, it doesn't need a root canal. All you have to do is cap it. You just, you know, put a crown on it. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. Doctor says doesn't matter whether I agree with it or not. I just have to believe that the doctor is, is 
and tell me what's right. Now, the desk I had last time, last week, and this week, I like and I trust a hell of a lot more than um, the two dentists that I saw before. And it went the same for my wife. How are you going to go one week and you've got X amount of cavities? You come back next week, uh, or even a couple days later for the fillings, and well, let's do some more x-rays now you know what that's leading to and now so you got like seven more cavities no no way honey no again i'm not a doctor but if i can't buy into it then i ain't going <laughs> if you put that out there and i'm not biting <laughs> then i'm not you know, going for it. i ain't doing it and well I was hoping my wife would make me an appointment <clears throat> with the other dentist office at Saturday hour, so I wouldn't have to take time from work. And I get the text that one day at work, uh, I got you a de uh, I got you an appointment with my dentist. Ah, are you kidding me? I don't want to go back there. But uh, this guy hooked it up, and I wish I could have understood his last name. You know, I probably just missed it because I heard it, and I was like, what? No, I ain't gonna be able to. I ain't gonna be able to say that. So, but yeah, I, I, I don't know what the hell is going on over here. I don't know. If, uh, it was from some of the tools, or if, you know, his hand resting there. Was where, I don't know. But it don't look pretty. It looks like I had a a bum bump. <laughs> Like I had, you know, the hurt, and I just kept picking at it and biting at it and whatever. You know, that's another good reason why, or well, another thing I'm grateful for, not having herpes, period. But because I'm an anxiety picker, uh, fiddler, you know, I, if, some, you know, one of my first feeling I ever had done, come to find out now, on a side note, that what the doctor used was just a temporary filling, because I was able to yank that motherfucker out, uh, it didn't feel right, and I thought it was, I didn't think it was the tooth that they had worked on, and I'm flossing and yanking and stabbing and bing, out it came, but, uh, that's how I go off on tangents, damn it, if I had herpes, I stand a good chance of probably having a Start picking that shit, you know. Oh, just out of anxiety, and anxiety was through the roof. Um, In a quarter mile, I turn left onto Hilton Road, Public Road. That's why on the weekends, a lot of times my wife does the driving. Now we had to go into uh, the Northern Liberty section of Philly uh, over the weekend for my son, and she got in the car first, and so she drove. And my anxiety is up because somebody else is driving. Turn left onto Hilton Road, Public Road. And you know, it's up because I know hers is up once we get into the city. And then she, hey, you're 41 years old, honey. This is where you learned to drive in you know, the city with your daddy's great big, big ass truck. Similar to the one I'm driving now. But in 1,000 feet, turn right onto West Broad Street. Um. I'd stop and get something to drink right now, but no. And my anxiety was also you know, raging because my youngest is cracking jokes and making comments and stuff. And it's not take the second ride onto West Broad Street. Yeah, that uh, is the last thing that mommy needs at that point. So, uh, you know, I'm finding myself now. I, I, yeah, I think. Her anxiety was up as well. That's why she kept da 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 Um, and I'm finding myself doing that, like in the dentist office. Yet the last last week, this week, man, I had so much material I could have rattled off, but couldn't because I had all this shit in my mouth. Not shit. Not like my son's dentist. Totally turns around and I smell crap. And then she says, "Okay, I'm gonna floss you." And she puts her hands close to my mouth. And says, she put her shitty hands in your mouth and you didn't say anything? She starts flossing because her gloves smelled like crap. 
I said, are you sure you're in the dentist office and not the proctologist office? Was she in the right office? Did she recycle the gloves? I don't know. At least flip them inside out. Boy, I hope this thing doesn't screw up my video when I stop the GPS. Continue on West Broad Street for three quarters of a mile. Yeah. You know, of course, I, I didn't think of mentioning to him the last time as he was asking you. Was like, Are you sure you're not on any other medications? Um, you know, maybe that aren't daily. And I know what was going through his mind and by the third time he asked was, you know, basically, are you, you, you popping mollies or whatever kids do these days? I don't know. Uh, you know, because it took so long and so much for me to get numb just nuts. Um, didn't think of it today, <clears throat> until today, talking to him. Um, I said that, you know, for a handful of years, I was on prescription painkillers. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Morgan Avenue. Uh, I thought I turned her off. And I said, uh, you know, we're not talking you know, more than five years, I don't think. But uh, I've probably been off of them as long as I was on them. Uh, I said, so could I build up a tolerance, you think? And he said, that's very well likely. He said, that uh, could very well be the case of why they had to use uh, so much of it. So much of the cane. In 400 feet, turn right onto East 5th Street. Light a cane. Take the next right onto East 5th Street, then turn right onto Morgan Avenue. Big Daddy Cane. Candy Cane. You know, it was just cocaine. That would have made things a lot easier, quick and easy. But, man, we got it done, he got it done. Take the next right onto Morgan Avenue. Then your destination will be on the left. He's like a, uh, a guy. Is he younger than I am? No, it was also funny. It's like, you know, you're sitting here, you're taking it, you know, you're not kicking, you're not screaming, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, you are hardcore. But my neurologist says the same thing when I go and uh, get my Botox injection, which I had this morning. Your destination is on the left. No kidding. Uh, <clears throat> he's sinking these long ass needles into me, into my back, into my neck. You know, we're talking behind my ears, around the front, towards my throat, uh, the base of my skull. It's just all over. And I'm not flinching. I'm not wincing. I'm not going, oh, oh, doc, no, don't do it, doc. <laughs> You know, it was uh, it was all good in the hood. So, thought I'd uh, throw up a little vid, me and my busted up face, and maybe I'll break your thumb. You know, I ain't punch you or nothing. You know, doctor says I got a relaxed mouth. <laughs> this side, <laughs> I got a relaxed brain. So that's where we're at. Alright, and uh, I don't leave these sunglasses. No, I'm not. Because <laughs> I'll forget them. So, until next time, <clears throat> signing off. Focus. Well, good morning. Here we are, Tuesday morning. Uh,. August. What's wrong with me? October 23rd. Hey, honey, step on the damn gas. Uh, got a few minutes here before they start to do the B files. So uh, I just wanted to hop on real quick and, uh, and say good morning. And I uh, hope everything is going well for everyone. Or good afternoon whenever you're watching it. As always, I hope it's all going good for you. Oh, this has been the end of the month. Oh shit, it was like the middle to the end of the month for doctor's appointments. Uh, man, between me going to, uh, yeah, the dentist yesterday, uh, they, my two uh, remaining kids at home go to ortho today. No, no, I'm sorry. He goes to, uh, my son goes to ENT today so they can, uh, 
get a sleep study going for him. And you know, ortho tomorrow. Yesterday he had physical therapy for his shoulder that he seems to have really wrenched during one of his uh, seizures last week. And he had one overnight, just one. And it didn't seem to be as intense as the uh, as it had been lately. Uh, it didn't last too long in duration, which is good. And uh, yeah, we're uh, we're thankful, always thankful. I go to the dentist yesterday and get this root canal finished, and I come out. And there was some kind of, I guess maybe from you know his hand. I, I'm not a big guy. And this is like your average size adult that was working on me and in large hands and he was pressing and smashing in the same spot for about two hours. That'll do it. And you're going back and forth, you're drilling, drilling, drilling. So when I got home, I watched, I started watching a bunch of YouTube videos on uh, root canals because I wanted to see how it was done. I mean, I had so many questions while he was in there. I just wanted to keep asking him, asking him, asking him, but of course, when you're laying back there, like, ah, 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 and they got all this shit in your mouth, and they're telling you, okay, don't bite down, don't bite down, don't close, don't, you're like, thanks, thanks for letting this guy out in front of us. Yep, and my oil light's on again. Lord, please let us hit this damn lottery. As far as uh, some videos go, so when I uh, when I get the chance this evening, I will have to uh, put these all together and get it out there for you. So, in case I don't get back on because my vehicle's fucking with me, um, everybody enjoy themselves, enjoy yourself, and uh, I'm gonna try and enjoy myself because you know I always make sure I enjoy myself. <laughs>